What an adorable little boy. Hey, y'all. How are we feeling today? We're back. We're back in it, baby. We're live. Listening to the rest of this Five Seconds of Summer album. Can I get a, can I get a hell yeah? Thanks for, for hanging out through, through the transitionary period, but, you know, I appreciate it. This doesn't mean that we're just not doing reactions ever. Like, I'll, I'll most likely still do them here on Twitch whenever albums do drop, you know. Taylor Swift Midnights, this upcoming month, we're still doing a reaction. It'll be here and on Patreon, but I'm also going to be probably doing a review. So it's just, it's just more content at the end of the day, you know? Just the reactions aren't going to be like super edited. Like if you really think about it, you want to enjoy the full reaction. You want to listen to the, to the entire song uninterrupted. Just cutting it up and, you know, doing like how I was doing it. It just fits the rea the, the review style a lot more. Okay, hold on. We got we to clear this up. We got to clear this up. We got to clear this up. Ash did not mention me in an interview, dude. Okay, that was a TikTok. Should we should we pull up the TikTok just really just really quick so that I can Okay, so this this is a video that apparently y'all were saying that Ashton mentioned me in. And I'll show you that you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but you're also not like a hundred percent correct. So I'm sorry, just before we start, Luke, what are you getting for lunch? Also, I just want to say this video, like whoever edited the little, you know all the little subtitles like that is really fucking good, dude. Like, honestly, when I saw this, I was like, holy shit, this is so well edited. Like, I, I'm I'm honestly kind of flabbergasted, bro. Some sort of salad bowl situation. Mate, we're doing power lifting. <laughs> <though. laughs> I'm thinking of getting uh, all the cuts. The pizza. Oh, just oh. like the old times. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it he's cracked. Like 100 people and it's gone down. How are we supposed, <laughs> to, are we supposed to Dude, this is so funny. <laughs> All the cuts are like about around the same length, so like the pacing of it is really good. Like the the comedy, the the laughing, all these little moments is so good. It's just so good. I don't know. I just want to show love to good editing because I I love editing. You know. <laughs> no, they, they make a show. I think the part's coming up though. You got a little five sauce. What's your favorite song from Five Sauce Five? Snuff. 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 Another vessel human being in, in a, a winter, winter coat. coat. I mean, that's poetry. Callum <laughs> is a mood. Callum is a mood. Look at this guy. This one. <laughs> Look at this. They're moving. Moods. Let's ease up on the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Oh my fucking god. When he closes, he closes the mouth. I'm fucking dead, dude. Okay, but this is the part. Hayes called Hayes. I was watching like a reaction vid of Hayes. Which one of y'all put me in this bitch? Step up, step up to the, step up to the teacher's desk. Who put me in this shit? I love you. I love you. I, I love you. You are funny as hell, but you have confused so many fucking people. He said he was watching a reaction video. This was clearly filmed more than a day ago, right? I didn't have my video up when this was, when this was up. He might have been talking about like maybe one of the single videos that I put out because I did do like three videos on the singles because they just kept on getting fucking better and better. So, you know, I had to do my part and build hype. But I just I highly doubt he was actually talking about me, bro. No, I think he did tweet at me one time, though. I don't know. I kind of forgot. Famous people kind of just hit me up sometimes, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> you know, sometimes they just slide in your boys' DMs and be like, thanks, love the video. And I'm like, ah, no sweat. <sighs> Stop being humble. It's literally about me. Look, okay, okay, fine. I put it in the Blender video. I probably did. I probably did. But why don't we cut the shit? Let's Cut the shit. Cut the fat. Cut my fucking tits off. Just cut it off. Number one song right now, my fave on the album is Haze. I mean, come on, dude. Honestly, if I was so if I was to honestly like give it to you, like, you know, mono e mono, keeping it 100 percent real with you. It's Haze. I just watched the one night only at 
Prince Sir King Albert Hall III and Caramel has reached its peak right now, honestly. Caramel. Caramo, my friend. My number two. Number three. Mmm. It's it's got to be Blender. I mean, there's there's just there's no other choice. I mean, it, it can't get lower than that. It can't get lower than Caramel. No, that would just feel wrong. Honestly, I feel like those might even flip flop. And then after that, oh, after oh, I'm not gonna do the whole album. I'm just gonna do my top five. Top five right now, and this is honestly definitely going to change. I'm just going to say it, me, myself, and I afterwards, and then for fifth, easy for you to say. Yeah, just, they're just, that's just a strong, that's just a top five. That's just, that's my top five right now. Let's get into the last five, though. Starting off with mood swings. I have run through these once before, so again, this is not a complete and genuine reaction. But this is definitely like second, third listen, so they're still fresh, baby. Let's get into it. Mood swings. I can tell by the look in your eyes that you don't want to fight on a Friday night. Oh, already coming in with this melody. Ooh, down to that seven. Come on. I can tell by the look in your eyes. Oh, jump in the octave with Michael. What? It really is a Michael album. Oh, big bell into the chorus. Dude, honestly, another one kind of surprising with the... Without you ending. <laughs> kind of the same as uh, Bleach. Maybe Usher's going to come back around. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't get that total feeling. But it is kind of interesting that they have two songs that have choruses that end with the same lyrics. Anyways, moving on. So far, really phenomenal song. Love the vibes. Love the feeling going into that chorus. Oh, oh so good. Oh, and now Ash is coming in with, I don't know what the, what he's hitting. I feel like he finds something new to hit on that drum kit, you know, every single time. Also, I was just watching the One Night Only, and he, uh, he has like six different snare drums. And like, genuinely, I'm like, you extra as, as fuck, bro. You are extra as frick. Dude, Callum coming in. Oh, the harmonies. Oh my god, who is that? I need to know who that is. Chat, please fill me in. Who is it? Who are doing those heavenly ass harmonies? It's Luke and... I fucking knew it. I knew it! I knew it! Oh my god, they sound so good together. Honestly, if I'm ranking the boys' harmonies, I'm I'm gonna I think I might have to give it to Luke and Ashton. At least in this album, Luke and Ashton, ah, the the synergy, bro, the synergy. I wouldn't say it's actually better. I just think it's different. It's just it's just a different kind of feeling. But I mean, I love Callum's lead vocals. He's uh, honestly, I feel like to the, and I will stand by this. I feel like when it comes to control. That's just Callum's game, bro. Luke has just an a absolutely phenomenal fucking esophagus. Like, honestly, it should be insured. It should be drenched in gold. There should be molds made out of it so that scientists can, like, figure out, you know, 400 years from now how the fuck he actually hit these notes. Because it's crazy. He is the blueprint in more ways than one. The Neanderthal br blueprint. <laughs> Who am I? I don't know. Oh. 
And then those backup harmonies, come on. Come on. Little down chorus moment. Coming in, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. God, how did they just nail these outros? Like the outros. A little bit of auto tune you hear on that little re timing auto tune on the end of it. I, I notice it. I notice it, but it's fine. It's fine. Everybody's got tune. It's we're not shaming here today because this is a beautiful ass song. Okay, seriously, like the I, I gotta read a little bit of uh, pen game into this. I'm pulling up genius right now. I know I didn't have it open. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whew. Hold on. Let me get into this deluxe. Let me get into the deluxe. Na na na. I don't even know myself. No myself, me, after I have my <laughs> lobotomy. Who am I again? Hmm? What's up? As somebody who... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading some of these. Uh... Okay, so they said this is another one written by the amazing Sarah Ahrens. Uh, Michael played these chords, and then Ashton did the vocals in the booth in one take. Wow! Okay, Ashton, one take, king. What the fuck? Then we dove into the verses back in L.A. at Michael's house. We loved this as an ode to our older sound, but hopefully uh, in a tasteful way. Dude, absolutely, man. Uh, this song does kind of feel a little bit reminiscent of like that older kind of sound, stripping it back. Especially with that like old-school acoustic outro. Definitely feel those vibes. For sure. Verse 2. I can tell when you're slipping from me, even when it's only subconsciously, on the edge of the bed as if you're falling asleep. I think you need more than you need me. I think I need you more than you need me. I know my mood's been swinging all day. Weaponized words can get in the way. Oh, bars. Opening for One Direction vibes. I mean, I feel it. That's kind of what they're saying. You know, this is an ode to their older sound. Very cool. Holy shit. I was going to say, folks, we had a moment where I said that Hayes was the number one song, but that number two spot is fluctuating, baby. I do not know how I feel about Flatline. I don't know. I'm going to need to vibe out a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if, you're not, if, if I become somebody that you might not recognize, okay? But this is Flatline. Should have seen me like a year ago, year ago. I was someone you don't even know, even know. Dark times kept me all alone, all alone. You were shining like a heart of gold, heart of gold. Someone just like Ooh, the hi -hat. you, no one else. Come on, Ashton. Lights will guide you, so run like hell. The growling bass coming in with that strumming, dude. The guitar is so good. Oh, that synthetic kick coming in. Dude, oh, the palm muting, the palm muting, the palm muting. Leading into that full falsetto chorus feels so fucking good. I'm literally getting like... Kesha vibes for some reason. I don't know why, but that chorus is something else. Gets my blood pumping exactly kind of like how Hayes did. What's happening? Oh, 
the echo out. Shut up. Oh, I'm running like hell towards this chorus. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, the, the, the synth! Another synth lead moment! Michael! Oh. Oh my god! Oh, the high notes! Are you serious? Oh my god. The melody, the chorus is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. So many dope little moments changing with the vocals. Just all the synth little shit coming in. Oh my god, it is such a fun song. It is such a fun song. It just feels like cocaine, dude. Cocaine colored wedding dress. Cocaine covered back half of, of the album is more like it. Oh my god. Seriously. One of my faves. Honestly, probably get a dethrone for the top three. Gotta say, so good. So much fun. Oh, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. We have emotions next. And I want you guys to stick with me. Because if you were here when we listened to, the, to this song on the first broadcast, I feel like this was uh, maybe not, not a whole lot of the chat's favorites. Honestly, I was feeling it, man. I'm just, I'm a big fan of Michael. I love that he has like a little, like a solo song. I think it can be improved in some ways that are a little bit surface level. But at the end of the day, I think the melodies are really solid. I love the way that it resolves up, up into the chorus and, and out. I'm just going to play it and, and we're going to vibe. You're going you're gonna to see, we're going to vibe. Talk about it, I don't want to talk about it. Got too many things on my mind. Instant blink vibes. Think about it, I don't want to think about it. Maybe that's why I'm always high. Little sad lyrics. Got one, two, three, four, five more things to say. Counting, you know, it's, it's a little played out. Seven, eight, nine, ten more things to change. But till that day, more counting. Don't mind me, I'm just feeling kind of broken, kind of broken. And then what? If you need me, what if I'm I need you? With my emotions, my emotions. You should know I feel some type of way. I don't even know why. Oh, I like that little stop, though. Space. I'm just needing a little time. Don't mind me, I'm just feeling kind of broken. Oh, I love, but see, like, I love how that kick comes in. I just, I, I really fuck with it. Like, listen, I feel like Dream could be a feature on this song. That's all I'm really, like, that's the best way I can describe the feeling of this song. It's not a bad thing. I, I don't dislike Dream, but there's a little bit of a... Uh, barrier with the lyrics for the chorus you know it's a, it leaves a little bit to be imagined you know should we go over let's let's pull it up let's pull let's let's pull them up let's pull them up i feel like i'm on maury let's bring him in where's the father <laughs> don't mind me i'm just feeling kind of broken 
kind of broken. If you need me, I'll be here with my emotions, as opposed to not being with him as emotions, as opposed to being like an NPC, I guess. Sometimes you can go into NPC mode and just be doing side quests. No emotions. You got to burn a village. It's just the way it goes. You can't, you can't feel bad about it. You got to move on. Next side quest. <laughs> the C section of this chorus, C section. <laughs> Why didn't I make that joke the last time? What the fuck? Okay, anyways. Um, you should know I feel some type of way. I don't even know why. I'm just needing a little space. I, I'm needing a little time. Don't mind me. I'm just feeling kind of broken. I'll be here with my emotions. So you kind of know what I mean. He's saying like, oh, I feel some kind of way. And I don't know. I don't, you know, I can't justify this feeling kind of way. But I, I need to be alone. I need to, I need to mold into my angst. I would say teen angst, but no, we're, we're talking about full on <laughs> real depression, baby, millennial depression, nearing 30 depression, balding depression. Oh yeah. Oh brother. Let me tell you, I know all about it, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, again, I like the way it goes into that second verse and I want to hear it again. So I'll be here with my emotions, cry about it, I don't want to cry about it, but I still can't help it sometimes. It does, it fucks though, like come on, it definitely fucks. I don't want to fight about it, I'm already screaming inside. It's so, it feels so nostalgic. One, two, three, four, five more ways yeah. Yeah, I could do without the counting. It does kind of play into this kind of like playful quality though. So I'm not like super duper mad at it. Yeah, I like it, dude. I like it. I, I, it, It's just fun. You just can't really take it as seriously as like the rest of the album when it comes to the songwriting. It's just a fun little bop. Like, tell me, dude, seriously, tell me that, like, if Dream didn't, like, have this song, like, if they if they sold it to Dream and he just, like, did his vocals over it, it would not be on the radio. It would 100% be on the radio if Dream put this song out. 100%. The hype it would bring, the fact that it's, like, really, really written and produced really well. I'm not going to stop bringing up Dream. I like him. He makes really entertaining videos. Let's get to the bridge. <laughs> I like that vocal though. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm having a really good time. Where did I go wrong? I'm having such a good time. Such a good time. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? Where did I... <laughs> It's giving a little theatrical. It's a little theatrical. It's emo. That's what it is. That's all it is. It's just emo, man. Oh, I like the drop. Drop octave. Dude, honestly... This is like my guilty pleasure for the album. I'm not even gonna lie. I really like it. So I'll be here with my emotions. If you lean into it, it's one of those songs that you gotta lean into. He's broken here with my emotions. He's here for the emotional content, and I gotta say, man. I I have to I have to agree. Okay. <laughs> 
Let's go, man. Let's keep it going. I like it. I just do. The next song is Bloodhound. And I feel like there's like a couple, like I saw this meme that was like three other songs that they had that have the word either blood or hound in them. Young Blood, Bloodhound, and then something else. <laughs> I don't know. This one's hot. Are we gonna need to turn on the AC? You're gonna. Where are we gonna? Are we gonna be sweating a little bit? Let's turn it up. Ooh, ooh, a little. I love the heat. What's that band? Pushed up kicks kind of vibe. Ooh. Oh no, there's a little percussion coming in this bitch. A million nights under the sun. Oh fuck. I know my life is just begun. Oh, I'm turning it up. Oh, I wanna feel all of these. I wanna feel all these instruments. I love the bounce of the guitar. Holy shit. Oh, wait, this is a uh, Oh wait, I remember now. This was uh this was one of the um what's it called? Uh interpolated songs. Yes. What is this song interpolated? No. I run so far away. Yes. What is that? Who who does that song? Is it Toto? No, it's a flock of seagulls. All right, what the fuck, man? Ba ba can we just get a, a, a rating on the band name? A flock of seagulls. A, a flock of seagulls? Dude, I'm not paying $80 for front row tickets to see a flock of seagulls. I can just go to the beach for free. Why would I... Why would I... Oh, so we got some seagull stands in here? Spawn of Satan. Literally. Seagulls are the worst creatures. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Gotta keep listening. I'm not arguing with you about seagulls. He sunk his teeth into the bone. Oh, what the fuck was that, mate? That was so crazy I slipped into a different accent. What? Good Lord. A bit of a warning, my boy. Who was that? Michael? <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. I, I'm, I'm going back for research purposes only. Took an L. Wait, took an L. Took an L. Okay, yeah. Okay. See, these this pen game is the kind of pen game that I really like because it's honestly kind of funny. Oh, through the teeth and lose it all. Okay, calm down, uh, driver era singer. Forgot his fucking name. I forgot his name, but I, he's naked all over my timeline. I, I literally can't do anything about it. So, Ugh. It took a while for me to see. Awesome. <laughs> Ooh, a little Halloween reference. Okay, see it in theaters. Halloween ends next Friday. I don't even know. Sponsor me, please. You can See it all. Oh my lord. Pearl of Grey, thank you for the sub on Prime. Appreciate you. Oh, Fow Wound is such a good sing. Living with the friends I found. Oh, yeah, that's just fucking fun. There's some words you can just kind of stretch 
with vowels when you sing that just feel kind of good, like ooey use. You know what I mean? Like just like that kind of like oh whoa whoa yo, like that kind of stretching in the fray end. Oh yeah, foul wound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big fan. Oh, I is there a bridge moment? Oh, there is. Oh, we're clapping. We're on deck. Shiver me timbers. dude drums on top of the bop oh come on top of the melody come on dude at first i was like you know five songs for their deluxe is a lot of songs for a deluxe maybe they should have just made the album longer they should have just made the album longer dude i wouldn't have been mad i wouldn't have been mad because if when i reached this part i would have been like oh nice sick this is the album. Just push, like push Redline and Bleach like right to the end. You know what I mean? Oh, Only album. Yeah, I'm on that. Yeah, I'm on that ride. Deluxe is the way to go. Woo! Yeah, just... So much fun, like so, oh, I love the little sexy moments, dude. It's just so much fun, dude. No, 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 not get rid of Red Line and Bleach. I'm saying like move them like in order down. Like if I was gonna rearrange the album, because I like the way that it ends with Red Line. Like genuinely the, the train doors closing is a beautiful way to end. I just feel like if you moved Bleach and Red Line after Tears, It'd be, you know, it'd be solid. Hey, hey, stop, stop doing that. You turned Cordy on. The boys were wrestling so hard that they literally turned the vacuum cleaner on. Okay. Move. See, there's too much drama. And there's too much drama in here. I can't focus. We have to move on to the next song, okay? We have to move on. It's called Tears. Tears in all caps with an exclamation point. Damn, God, shit. He just yelling it at me. Harmonies? Ooh. Ooh, a little phaser? Oh, some sad guitar. There's a hole in the sun, caving in and I feel it. I'm a fortunate one. Oh, my Ashton. Push my luck when I need it. Sad, but what can I do? Burn the world to start over. I like this little verse melody. It's catchy. Deeper, deeper. When I let my soul see clearer, clearer. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this bass line. It's getting me high. Oh, I feel. Oh! Oh, this kid coming in, are you fucking serious? Shut up. Dude, the bait, I can't, dude, I was losing it at the bass line in the chorus. Holy shit, Callum was just like fucking crazy with that shit. The, hitting the ground, hitting the ground. My ass was hitting the ground. Okay, Jesus, I was not ready for that. 
Oh, big, thick fucking snare. Oh. Oh, those little stops with the... I wish they had kind of like a vocal thing going into that chorus. That would have kind of glued it together a little bit better. Ooh, a little brake pad effect on the left ear. That's a cool production. Oh, uh, bang! Bah! Bah! Oh my God, it goes so hard. Bridge? Oh my god! Ooh, 50 rounds! He's a fighter! Mmm, damn. Uh, I wish that lead-in was a little bit bigger. Damn. Oh my god, that bridge was so sick though. What the fuck? Can we just talk about the bridge for a second? What the fuck? Diamonds turn to puddles. No one's feeling what I'm feeling. Violence in the darkness. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No, I have really bad eyesight in the dark. Um, I was going 50 rounds of uppercuts. I'm bleeding. Yeah, I think so, bud. Just 50 straight rounds of uppercuts. I mean, I hope you were like blocking a little bit. Lord, is he going to start like training for fighting? Holy shit. Can you imagine Ashton versus Jake Paul? Wow. I'd pay money. I would swear, I swear to God, no one is feeling what I'm feeling. Okay, cool. And then going back into that chorus. Bars. Ashton. Drums. So good. Uh, going harder. Uh. Oh, the, the distorted vocal over the top of it, too. Oh, wow. And that's that really is the end of the deluxe album. Y'all, holy shit. What the, what? Okay, I said it before. I'll say it again. I, I, dude, I just, why didn't they just make this the album? Wow. So good. So good. Ah. Oh.